we're going to talk about lymph nodes. So we're going to have, uh, for the next couple of days, it's going to be uh, Howard and I uh, going back and forth between head and neck and brain, and we'll look at the skull base and temporal bone and a bunch of other areas. So we're going to start off now with talking about lymph nodes and cervical lymphadenopathy. And I'm going to use kind of a very basic approach in talking about them. Uh, what are lymph nodes, where are they, and why should you care? So hopefully it convince you in the end why lymph nodes are important and why you should care about them. So we're going to start off with what are lymph nodes. Uh, well, th we have these lymph nodes in our head and neck, and there's more in the head and neck than the rest of the body combined. So it's a much bigger deal for us in the head and neck world than a lot of parts of the body. Uh, but we know they're the, uh, initiating the immune response, they transport the lymph, and they filter foreign objects. That's where it becomes very important for us in terms of cancer is the filtering. So this is a lymph node. So we have a kidney bean-shaped structure, and it has a hilum where an artery and a vein are coming in. Uh, but interestingly, the lymphatics don't come in and out through the hilum. There are afferent lymphatics where they're coming into the outside of the node, and they come out to the periphery of the node itself. And the efferent, the ones exiting, coming out of the hyla, exit out through there. So you can think about them all the time as uh, having all these limbs coming from the outside, and then the node itself has all these chambers where the immune response is mediated and initiated with all the immune cells in the middle. And the artery and the vein come in the hyla along with the efferent lymphatics. So we can think about this all the time as filtering. Uh, so we have all these little cells that are constantly being filtered in through the node, and that's a filter and everything else comes out. So we want to know all the time if the cells are going through the node or if, like these cancer cells, if they're being trapped within the lymph node themselves as they go through that filtering process. Now, while it's easy to tell normal from an abnormal lymph node on pathology, our job is to try to tell on imaging. It turns out it's not very easy. It's a lot harder to tell by imaging if a node is normal 